For us, it's much, we celebrate Christmas much differently than many people in the world. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful. Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here with me today when we are going to be speaking on gift giving. This is the perfect time of year, I think, to discuss this topic. I've talked about this in the past over on my Patreon channel. I was trying to remember if I spoke about it at all on my YouTube channel, but I think that with one of these etiquette questions that Miss Manners received and it just felt so perfect because I know so many people can relate to this question that was in there and also just get us thinking about why. Why do we feel this need to give gifts or to feel the stress that we feel or to feel obligated about certain things? So let's discuss that today. I would love to hear your feedback. Really, there isn't any right or wrong about any of this. And I think with all things, if everything is done out of love, that's what matters most. But I still love to discuss different things. And one of the things that I hope that you see out of my videos is that they are not highly researched videos. It's more of just feelings and kind of the idea that um, if I sat down with you to, you know, have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or some water or juice or whatever it is, um, you know, if we just spoke as friends, it's not something that we would have highly researched before. It's just a conversation that comes up. So that's how I feel. Um, I want these videos to come across to you, not something that is so rigid or, you know, that it's a must or, I mean, just having that conversation together and being okay with hearing different points of view. And also if it's something that you're struggling with, I hope that whatever anybody else leaves in the comment section, if even if you don't agree with what I have to say, that maybe you will find something helpful with something else that somebody else said in the comments section. So that's why I love hearing from all of you because we can just learn from each other and then just also know different points of view that other people have. So one of these readers that sent in this question to Miss Manners was, something that I've experienced myself just feeling some negative feelings about, but also something that a lot of my friends go through and they bring up to me often, and especially around this time of year. So I know many of you are struggling with this as well, and then we will get into everything else. But first, I just want to welcome you if you are new. Thank you so much for joining me today, and let's get into this and then I will share a little thing with you that really made my day today or yesterday it was yesterday I think okay so uh, this reader wrote in she said and this is from my local newspaper by the way she said dear miss manners I am done with shopping for my older nieces and nephews for Christmas they are all adults now and have never made one effort to recognize any holidays for anyone except themselves. They rip open their gifts but never acknowledge the giver or offer any thanks, not even when I handed the gift to them outright. I watch my nieces open their gifts then sit and compare them to each other's, all while ignoring me completely. Not once do I hear thank you. Their parents are no different. Usually they show up with a bag of all the same items. Then they just hand them out unwrapped and untagged. They seem to like getting nicely wrapped individualized gifts from us. They just don't bother to thank us. Am I wrong for being done? Anytime we give them a gift, they grab it and disappear. Not to be seen for the rest of the day. I'm hurt then and I am hurt now. I know with gift I know with giving gifts it is the thought that counts but my thoughts are that it's time to stop what are yours So have any of you experienced that kind of those kind of feelings whenever you give a gift and you feel that 
certain people just are not very appreciative of the gift that you give um, do they do these kind of things I know that I've I've definitely felt this with some people and we will get into all of this in just a minute but I would like to read uh, Judith Judith Martin's answer she says gentle reader that it is time to stop Evidently, this is a burden on everyone, not just you, but the parents who are at a loss about how to select presents to please individuals and nieces and nephews for whom showing gratitude is too much trouble. Presents are not owed, like some sort of tax for being in a family. The idea is supposed to be mutual thoughtfulness, which is not working in this case. So to be thoughtful to people who can't handle present exchanges, Miss Manners suggests that you tell them that it will be enough pleasure for you to see them. So first, I would just like to know if your, if your um, traditions of gift giving have changed, especially in more recent years or when did they change? I really would like to know that in the comments below because I know that when we are raising our families, a lot of times we, you know, we're so used to getting together with the same people over and over again within our family. But then those people within the family grow up and then they have kids. And so it kind of presents this distance that wasn't there in the past, just with individuals and especially as they grow older. Um, different relationships, you foster those differently amongst others within the family than you would maybe in the beginning and things change and so I think that that's to be expected but how often do we consider why we're doing what we're doing? I would have to agree with Miss Manners on that um, because it's there comes a point where we have to reassess our reasons for doing something. Is it something that's even necessary? Is it appreciated? Um, of course, when you do give, when you do give a gift, I think that it's just done to because you want to, and you're not having this other expectation of even the fact that they would give you a gift in in return. And I would love to know your thoughts on that because I know so many people get their feelings hurt, especially if it's not reciprocated. But really taking into account the reason why we're giving a gift in general, I think would be helpful. Um, for me, it's been because this has been the tradition within our family. But over the years, I've really just asked myself these questions because Sometimes I didn't see the point behind it. I didn't see the point behind someone who really didn't know me very well at all, feeling this stress of having to purchase a gift for me that then I really wouldn't use because they didn't know me well enough to pick out something that I would like, for instance. And so then it gets tucked away in a closet somewhere or you end up re-gifting it or um, you just don't know what to do with it and then it ends up going to Goodwill or something like that. And sometimes I've even explained to my family that, you know, maybe, and this is distant relatives, that maybe it's just, it would be helpful to everyone if we just spent that time together instead of worrying about gifting things to one another because for the most part, I feel everybody ends up getting things that they want anyway throughout the year. And I would encourage all of you, if you haven't already, look up how Christmas began, when it began, and then do those kind of, you know, reassess things for yourself. Because um, for us, it's much, we celebrate Christmas much differently than many people in the world. Not to hold people to the standard based off of men, men's traditions, teaching as doctrine the commandments of men. Oftentimes I've thought, like when it came to gift giving, that sometimes I just imagine God looking down on us shaking his head and thinking like in this season where people get so stressed out over this kind of stuff that's not even a requirement him just shaking his head at us and just you know feeling so sorry for us because we put a lot of these expectations and these stressors on ourselves for for no 
good reasons. Why do you feel that your list has to be this long of the people that you gift give to? Is it because it's something that your mother always did? Is it because of something that your grandparents always did? And that I think would be very helpful to so many people that are struggling with this. I know it was helpful to me just to sit back one day and just ask myself, why do I feel this pressure to give all of these different people gifts when I don't spend enough time with them to really even know all the different things. I'm going to see them on Christmas because it's our tradition to get together with a large family. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a family reunion on Christmas. I mean, the people that I only see on Christmas day. So for me, I focus on the people that I spend time with throughout the year and those that I know and I don't even feel that guilt anymore about not having something to give. Uh, the people that really don't reach out to me, that I don't reach out to them throughout the year, and I'm fine when they give me a gift just thanking them. I think that that's the best thing. Like say a neighbor comes and brings you a basket full of goodies and something that they handmade, you know, um, or baked, I should say. I think that it's more meaningful to just accept it with so much gratitude and even, you know, offer them to come in and, well, I mean, right now that's not something that everybody would do, but um, just offering them to come in and sit there and enjoy a conversation with you over, a, you know, a hot drink or something. Seeing what you can do in that moment as opposed to then feeling the pressure of, oh, I need to reciprocate. I need to give them something back in return because I don't always feel that that's a necessary thing. Those that did that and thought of you, um, you know, it was something that they were doing out of just the thought and the love of doing it. So I would love to know your thoughts on all of that. And is this something that you've been struggling with? I know so many people struggle with it year after year. Consider why you do what you do. Why is it so important to you or is it really that important to you? And um, not being swayed or pushed by the masses to do something just because it's tradition, because traditions are things that were passed down but we don't necessarily know why. Always learn why you're doing something. I think that that's one of the best things that we can do for ourselves to also help us get out of this um, constant state of stress that so many of us get into, especially around this time of year. Think of how God is looking at things. Think of what He wants for us. and. All of that really can be found in the Bible anyway, so I would definitely encourage those of you who struggle with that kind of thing, and especially if you attribute things to His Word, look through His Word yourself. Don't rely on some other person to tell you what it's about, to tell you why you should do something. Look into it yourself. We are going to get into a little thing that made my day, and that was that last night Jorge made us dinner because I was just, it was a really, really down day for me yesterday and um, I feel like I'm coming back out of it and I, I have a lot more energy today but I was really thankful for that. I would love to know what little thing made your day yesterday or today. Anyway, thank you all so much for being here and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye everyone. Bye.